Hello and welcome to this Camel K demo. We want to show today an example use case implemented with this technology. In this scenario, we'd like to see an automated way of having some cross-functional collaboration between various teams. In this particular case, a strategy team has some questions and concerns that they need to have answered. And so all the teams in the company can help them so that they can then make decisions for the future of the company. So typically, this team, they would get together uh, into a video link uh, and uh, then they will open uh, a document, a Google Sheets document, and all those questions and concerns, they can type them in and uh, assign uh, the departments they believe can help them. Uh, so what we want uh, from uh, Camel K is somehow uh, build a platform that is able to automatically uh, collect all the feedback from all the teams in the organization and um, make automatic updates on that uh, Google Sheets. Uh, so uh, first, we need some preparations to get this working. Uh, so of course, we need a Kubernetes environment ready. And uh, then we want to uh, deploy a Camel K platform. And this typically involves uh, deploying the uh, Camel K operator who will do all the work. And uh, we have deployed as well a Kafka platform that uh, essentially will carry all the information and all the interactions between the different uh, teams. We need as well to prepare API access to Google Sheets uh, so that we can grab all the data from, from the spreadsheet and we can make the updates. Also, we have prepared a mail server uh, and that uh, with that, we will simulate uh, the interactions uh, uh, between the teams and also access to Google Drive uh, because we want to upload uh, some reports as we will see in a moment. Uh, so this is the overview of the uh, platform. Uh, so we can see at the center the Kafka platform and uh, we have a couple of Kafka topics there that uh, will essentially uh, have uh, carry all that information. And all around, uh, we see these uh, Camel K pieces that essentially will be streaming in and out from the Kafka platform uh, the questions and answers uh, from uh, Google Sheets uh, to the different teams, collect all those uh, uh, responses, and then make the updates. And simultaneously, uh, we have as well a fifth uh, uh, Camel K implementation that will uh, replay those streams uh, to produce a report that will reflect uh, all those interactions uh, uh, cross-functional uh, happening in the organization, uh, rendered in a PDF document that will get updated, uh, sorry, uploaded to Google Drive so that perhaps the top management uh, can inspect and see how well uh, the departments are working. So let's get started with all this. In our first stint of the entire data flow, um, our mission is to use a Camel K building block. We will uh, use a Camelot binding uh, and it will capture the data in Google Sheets and then send that over Kafka uh, in a topic. Uh, so let's look at that. Uh, so the first thing, of course, um, we'd like to pretend that uh, we are one of those uh, uh, team members in the strategy team. And uh, this is the spreadsheet we want to work uh, with. And some of our colleagues have already entered some questions. So we can see here. Uh, they say, after our recent company's acquisition, how will we integrate their systems with ours? Uh, so we would like, for example, to enter our own question here. And we say, uh, are we uh, still having uh, problems um, hiring uh, developers? And we can assign these to the uh, developers uh, uh, development team. All right. So, uh, the next thing um, then is that what we want to do is to automate this. And so we define a Camlet binding. Uh, so a Camlet binding is a resource that uh, Camel K understands where we can just simply configure a data source and a target. Uh, so as our data source, uh, we 
uh, indicate that we want to use the Google Sheet source. We have uh, here anonymized the sensitive uh, fields um, and uh, we define a Kafka topic uh, as a destination. So here's where we are going to place all those questions. Um, so now uh, we can look at our platform and we see that we have a Kafka cluster running and we have our Camel K uh, operator uh, ready uh, to uh, observe uh, resources and, uh, and then create uh, um, integrations when needed. So we can jump to our um, command line and then just simply create that uh, um, Camlet binding. So we say uh, apply Camlet binding stage one sheets to Kafka. So we hit enter and immediately uh, we can see that uh, a pod has been spawned. So this is the uh, integration and now it's up and running. So it's probably uh, have, uh, has already captured uh, the data in sheets and put it in into uh, Kafka. So uh, now we can jump to the next stage. Now we need to define a second integration that will consume Kafka events from the topic and send them uh, to different uh, emails uh, to the different teams uh, to distribute the questions. So if we look at the uh, source code of that uh, uh, definition, this, is, this just requires one single file and we can see that uh, we define a source uh, with the Kafka connector, uh, defining the topic that we want to consume. Uh, and so this is the routine logic and basically uh, we extract uh, the uh, correct uh, piece of information to check the team uh, that uh, this event has to go to and depending on the team then we, use, we use one email address or another and eventually uh, then we send that uh, via email using the SMTP uh, protocol configured here uh, to uh, send it to our platform server. Um, right, so uh, with that, uh, then we just uh, uh, look at our uh, mail server, uh, our, sorry, our client that is connected to the server and we see that we have three different inboxes uh, with um, uh, one per team and, uh, and basically at the moment they are empty. So let's just try to uh, execute that. Uh, so we have our first stage already running in uh, OpenShift and from the command line then we can say uh, camel run um, uh, and we say uh, stage uh, 2 and we just need to specify a dependency for the JSON manipulation so we say Jackson and we hit uh, enter so when we hit enter uh, we see that we have the operator have has instantly spawned uh, the integration and the pod is now uh, running uh, so if we uh, check our inbox uh, we should soon then uh, get our emails and effectively uh, we get the alert and each team has received uh, one uh, email. So that's one question per team. Uh, so uh, there you go. So we delivered uh, the Kafka events and the questions uh, to the uh, different uh, teams. And with that, uh, we, can, uh, we have done this uh, stage and then we can just uh, jump to the following one. Next, we want to build a third stage uh, with Camel K uh, that will implement uh, the collection of all the email responses from the different departments and stream those into a second topic in Kafka uh, called Answers. Um, so this building block uh, does not require any uh, implementation. It can also be a Camlet binding, therefore uh, pure configuration. So let's look at that. Uh, so this is the platform where we have already uh, stage one and stage two uh, running. And what we want to do is uh, to deploy stage three. So let's uh, look at that. Our Camlet binding is here and uh, we pick up uh, the mail uh, source as the uh, source Camlet uh, uh, so that uh, it will be uh, collecting all those responses uh, via email. We define a midway action uh, that uh, will uh, transform the mail format response into a JSON structure and then uh, we'll use the uh, Kafka uh, uh, definition to place uh, that uh, email into uh, the answers uh, topic. 
so uh, let's uh, then um, just uh, upload that resource into uh, the environment and the operator should pick that up immediately. So we say uh, OC uh, apply uh, minus F um, Camlet uh, binding stage uh, three, we hit enter and uh, the uh, operator, uh, uh, let's see, uh, okay, so it has now created uh, the third element uh, and uh, that is now uh, ready and running and waiting for email responses. And uh, what I'd like to do as well is also deploy our fourth stage that will consume those events we just uh, placed in the topic and will extract some uh, routing information and, uh, uh, and then with that information, it will know where in the spreadsheet uh, to place those uh, responses. So in this case, uh, we need uh, to implement some code. So we will just uh, define a camel K file. Uh, so if we look at that definition, uh, this is the stage four, one source file is enough. All we need to do is just define uh, a couple of camel roots. So the first one, as you can see, we are using the Kafka component from camel and we are consuming events from answers. Uh, we extract uh, the information from the subject in the email uh, that knows the role uh, that has to be updated in the spreadsheet. Then we do some cleaning on the body of the uh, reply just to eliminate some verbose information. And then we make the Google API uh, invocation. Uh, so I've anonymized there the uh, uh, token, the access token. And basically all we need to do is just to comply with the API specification from Google. And then we use uh, this time uh, an HTTP uh, call uh, to uh, um, to do the update. So if we go now uh, again to the environment, uh, we can say uh, camel, uh, sorry, camel, uh, so we use the camel uh, client and we say run uh, stage uh, four. And when we pass the dependency camel uh, Jackson for those JSON uh, manipulations. So when we hit enter, Immediately the operator again uh, reacts and uh, we have already our integration uh, running there. Uh, okay, uh, so if we look back again at the flow, uh, then uh, we have enabled uh, uh, the, uh, the integration that will pick up all the responses from the different departments and then update uh, the Google Sheets uh, document. So all is left us for us to do is to see that in action. So actually we can uh, go to our spreadsheet. We see that the cells are empty. And if we go to our inboxes, uh, we see that we have the uh, three questions uh, from the three different departments. So we will pretend that we are someone from architecture and that we pick up that uh, uh, email uh, that says, uh, after our recent company's acquisition, how will we integrate their systems with ours? So, uh, you know, someone can go there and reply and say, uh, we will be using camel K to build all our integrations and then uh, send that uh, as a reply. And if our data flows are, are all working, then we should see immediately uh, uh, our spreadsheet uh, being updated. And this is just, it just has happened on screen. So we have our first response is in. Now we can pretend we are someone from development that again picks up that message and, uh, uh, and uh, sees that strategy is asking, are we still having problems uh, hiring developers? Uh, because typically skills, uh, you know, are difficult to find. Uh, so we say, um, uh, this is less of a problem uh, with uh, Camel K, because as we know, with Camel K, we can build uh, Camlet bindings that just require pure configuration. And these any uh, Kubernetes user can do without any Camel uh, knowledge. Uh, so we send that response. And, uh, and again, uh, in no time, that should be updated uh, in our spreadsheet. And we see that there on the third cell. And finally, uh, if we are someone from operations, we can reply to this question from strategy that says, have we figured out how will we improve our long running batch processes at night? And we can say uh, our uh, plan is to uh, use Kafka uh, streams 
to build event uh, driven applications and send that uh, as a reply. And, uh, and there you go. So we have all our responses uh, fully automated and responded in our spreadsheet, which is, uh, you know, uh, the goal that we set uh, at the beginning. So if we look uh, back, uh, we have completed our four main stages that fully automate uh, this system uh, that allows uh, this automatic interaction between uh, the different uh, uh, functional teams uh, in the organization. And, uh, and uh, then we have a fifth and final uh, integration flow uh, for the video uh, today, as we can see on screen. We want to take advantage of uh, Kafka's ability uh, to replay the streams. So in this case, what we want is uh, CamelK to consume from both streams that contain all those interactions between the different teams uh, to uh, crunch that and produce a report that will reflect all those cross-functional interactions in the organization and render that into a PDF document that we will upload to Google Drive. Uh, so in this case, uh, you know, there's some more, more logic uh, than usual to do there. So this would be more appropriate for uh, an experienced Camel uh, developer. Uh, so if we look at the source of that, um, then this is stage five, uh, still is, you know, a single uh, file definition, but we have a uh, small Java helper somewhere there. Uh, but in essence, uh, we can see that we have one consumers from the Kafka questions, and we have a second consumers, uh, a second consumer from the Kafka answers. Uh, we extract the necessary information from there, and then we implement what uh, we call in Camel uh, a couple of aggregators. And the aggregators basically they correlate uh, the events uh, to produce uh, you know a, com a combination of that. Uh, uh, so that's what we need, and out of it, uh, then we have all the info that we need, and we just render that as PDF uh, with. Uh, uh, the Java help, and uh, then we upload to Google Drive using the Camel component for Google Drive. Um, these uh, parameters here are anonymized once more, and uh, all is left to do is just to go and up upload this to uh, Google Drive. So this is the folder where actually it will end up, uh, and at the moment uh, all that we have there is the uh, spreadsheet, but if we go and um, uh, launch uh, this um, um, uh, integration, then we say camel run, uh, the name of the integration stage five, uh, we pass the Java helper and the uh, definition that we have just seen with some of the dependencies. So we launch that and uh, it says integration uh, created and uh, that is going to uh, do the job and if everything goes according to plan uh, in uh, you know it gets all the events from kafka uh, produces that report uh, connects to uh, google uh, api and uploads the uh, report in here and as we can see it just did uh, so we have the report here as a pdf document on screen we can pretend that we are someone interested on that document and then we open the document and we can see uh, all the interactions from the uh, that we have uh, seen during the demo uh, with the questions from strategy and the different answers from the different uh, teams as we reply to them from the uh, mail uh, client. And um, well, and this is it basically. Uh, this is uh, all I wanted to show today on the demo. So thank you very much uh, for your patience and uh, listening to this. Uh, bye.